guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day inspired hairstyle. I'm going to be using some Camille Rose products today. I've had the opportunity to join their Rosette Real Squad. So they've sent me some products to do a Valentine's Day inspired hairstyle. So I thought I'd just record it for YouTube as well. So they sent me three products to create a reel with and I've already tried these products out for myself already so i already know that i love the products you can check the videos out i'll leave them in the description box below i got the camille rose curl love moisture milk and i got the camille rose almond Jai, and i got the camille rose curl maker as well but yes i feel very lucky to join their rose at real squad very excited as well to make my first video for them so yeah let's get straight to it so i washed and deep conditioned my hair i used the ors shampoo the pantene gold series shampoo as well on my strands then i use the shea moisture deep conditioner the makuna honey one and this is what my hair is looking like i've had my hair in this towel for quite a while just while i'm setting up everything and trying to get the lighting right because it's such a cloudy day in london today so i will have to rework my hair with my water spray right so as always i'm going to pull my hair up into four and this is just some water and conditioner I like to add conditioner to my water because the water in London is hard. So if you live in an area where there's hard water as well, I recommend to do this. And I'm adding just enough water to make my hair damp. I don't like to apply my products with my hair soaking wet. And now I'm going to be putting in the Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk. So I'm applying the product quite liberally all over my hair. This leave-in conditioner is on the lighter side and I actually prefer my products to have a thicker consistency but this stuff is super moisturising and my hair soaks it up really well. I love this stuff honestly. It just melts right into the hair. So good. <laughs> yeah, so I decided I'm going to be doing a wash and go with some sort of hairstyle going on on the front. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to prep my hair like I would be doing wash and go. I'm going to wet my hair a little bit more. So. And I'm not going to go into too much detail on how I apply the products today because I don't want to make the video too long and I just want to focus on styling. But if you do want a more in-depth review of the Camille Rose products, I do have a video up on my channel. I'll leave the link for it in the description box below. And I also have a whole playlist of my wash and goes as well, so I'll leave that in the description box below as well. Next I'm just going to use my homemade oil. So this mixture just has a bunch of sealant oils in it with some essential oils. And I'm just applying that all over my hair as well. And just making sure to apply a little bit more to the ends as well so they don't dry out. I think it would actually be more beneficial if I applied the oil afterwards. Because this gel actually has some ingredients in it that my hair can benefit from. And the sealant oils are just going to prevent anything else from penetrating the hair strands. So I'll probably try that out another time. I'm just so used to doing the LOC method, like that's my go-to method. I like to do LCL more time when I'm doing like braid outs or twist outs. Because I don't really use a gel in those hairstyles. Next I'm taking the Camille Rose Curl Maker. This gel guys. As I mentioned before in my other videos, I love the way this gel just gives the instant definition as soon as you put it in your hair. And it's so easy to work with, like it just glides through your hair strands. As you can see, the gel is clumping my curls already. Look at that. Less than 30 seconds and it's clumping my curls. I'm gonna add a little bit more because I now have two of these. <laughs> so I can be quite generous with it. See what happens. The only downfall is that it's a medium hold, but if you don't use an oil, you will get a stronger hold. I personally like to use oils when I use a gel because I don't like that cast on my hair at all. And you can actually scrunch out that cast with an oil the next day, but I don't like to have the cast on my hair at all. I just feel like it's going to snap my hair or something. I don't think I used an oil in my review when I first tried them, but I did find that my hair was drier than normal as the days went on. My hair is prone to dryness and frizziness, so that's why I prefer to use oils and a thick gel. That's one side done. <laughs> 
so at this point in the video i was having some difficulties with the hairstyle i tried a few things i didn't like it so i just decided to part my hair off before i applied the rest of the products so i did a center parting and i went ahead and done a zigzag parting afterwards it was a bit difficult to do it in front of the camera so i apologize for that but you can see it clearly it's a zigzag parting it actually looks like a heartbeat which is quite fit into the scenario that i'm going for <laughs> And once I'm done with the parting, I just go ahead and put the products in the rest of the sections. So the back section and the two front sections. Now I'm just testing out whether the two strands in the face looks good on me. It hasn't looked good in the past, so I'm trying it out again today. And yeah, I like it. It's given 2005 vibes, but it looks cute. <laughs> My boyfriend actually said I look like a Spice Girl, and that's not the look I was going for. All right, so that's all done. Looking nice and lush. So I've decided what hair I'm going to do now. I literally just been here for like an hour. Just trying to figure out what I'm going to do. So I did part off this top part of my hair to zigzag. Like that. And I'm going to part downwards from ear to ear. Good. Now I'm parting this section into two again. And then I'm parting it off into two again. But I'm going to do a diagonal parting to have the twist going upwards instead of straight back. I put one of the sections up so it doesn't get in my way while I'm twisting. And then I apply a little bit more gel on the section before I do the twist so that the twist can be really shiny. And then I just go ahead and proceed to do these twisty things. I don't even know what they're called. These twisty cane row thingies. <laughs> so I'm just twisting the hair really tight and flat on the scalp. And then I just secure it with an elastic band. And then once I'm done, I clip them backwards so that they don't unravel. So when I'm doing a twist, I found it easier to use my thumbnail to tuck the hair under itself. And I made sure it was as tight as possible. On my first attempt, it was coming out too loose because I was trying to rush through it. So this time I really took my time to just twist it little bit by little bit. And then once I got to the end, I made sure I twist the rest of the hair as well. So it's like nice and tight at the roots. Then I just made sure to hold it there and then put the elastic band in straight away. I did put the elastics in quite tightly, but not too tight to pull my hair out. And also I did cut out the elastic bands when it came to taking the style down. Once I'm done with the twist, I go ahead and apply a little bit more gel on that section. And then I join the two twisty things to the section of the hair. I'm not forgetting to take down that little accent hair fringe thing. And then I'm using my smoothing brush to make that slick. And then I just put a thin hair tie in. Now I'm adding a little bit more water to that front piece of hair and finger coiling it to make it curl up a bit more and then I put the hair into this cute little bun you can actually add some hair to make the space buns bigger or you can allow the hair to dry so it gets volume but I was happy with the two small ones so that's one bun done and I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side so I found it easier to use my thumbnail to tuck the hair under itself and I was using both hands to do this as well. So I was tucking it under with one thumb and then I was tucking it under with the next thumb and just making sure that it's really tight and secure. And then I just kept twisting until all the hair was twisted. This is actually a good alternative if you don't know how to cane row and it looks just as cute. I think it actually looks a bit cuter than cane rows.
Now I'm just finger coiling that baby hair a little bit and I'm doing light edges today. I think I'm gonna have to start using that black edge control again, you know, because look at these edges. But anyway, that's all done. And I'm just taking the hair down and applying a little bit more gel because it was getting a little bit frizzy already. And I actually added a little bit of the olive oil eco styler gel on top after I finished this video, just to give it a little bit more of a hold. And I think that is the solution when it comes to using the curl maker is to add a little bit of a thick gel but yep looking good looking good now i'm just adding some hair jewelry to jazz up a bit and these are one pound from the hair shop i quit but yes this is what i came up with guys what do you think what do you think i think it looks pretty cute so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i enjoyed doing something different for once with my hair if you want to see the reel that I made for Camille Rose, make sure you follow me on Instagram or TikTok at Sarah Naturally. And if you want to see me featured on Camille Rose's page, it will be on their UK page. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.